Hello everybody! Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to learn how to assemble your Arduino on a breadboard. But here, instead of choosing the Uno model, which is in most part of our tutorials, we're going to select the Do Milanov model to do it. You can find more information about it in our social network and even more tutorials. Most of the products used in it you can also find on our virtual store. And don't forget to subscribe on your YouTube channel so you can find more tutorials and other tips. Okay, so let's start building our new Arduino. Alright, so for this assembly, we're gonna need these components as you can see here the microcontroller 80 Mega 328P with bootloader. It won't work without the bootloader, okay? So in this tutorial, we are using the Dumilinov one, but you can use others. You have more details about it in our written tutorial on our social network. Right. Um, one breakout for USB serial. Okay, it is also available on the store. Three capacitors, two of 22 picofarad, and one of 100 nanofarad. Okay. A 16,000 Hz oscillator, a push button, a 220 ohm resistor, a LED, and of course, jumpers. Alright, so let's assemble it. When we assemble it, it's important to consider some points. The first is the microcontroller pin mapping. So as you can see here, on the left side, there is this chamfer, and when you look at down, this is the pin number one, and following number two, and so on, until number 26. So you have this more detail in our written tutorial, then you don't confuse the sides or pin connection while assembling. Second point is the FDDI for USB. It's important to understand that the receptor of the breakout connects to the transmitter of the microcontroller, and the transmitter of the breakout connects to the receptor of the microcontroller. It seems really inverted, but that's it. Third point, it is the position of the oscillator. Have this near the microcontroller so that there will be a better clock performance now, just prepare it on your breadboard as it is shown in the written tutorial. So we can see two simple examples now to test our new Arduino. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Okay, so after all these things and after you have prepared everything, so open your IDE and go to Files examples basics blink then upload it to the board if your new arduino is working similarly to this on this video it is okay if it is not take a look at the circuit maybe your assembly has a problem or even a driver problem it can be too in the second example Add the potentiometer to the circuit according to the written tutorial, okay? So, go to Files, okay, Files again, huh? Examples, Basics, Analog Read Serial, and upload it to your microcontroller, just like this. Then, open your serial monitor and take a look at the BIOS changing while you turn the potentiometer. Okay, right, so you can see, and that's it for now, we hope you have enjoyed it and have a good job with your breadboard Arduino, we see you next time.